But that's actually such a pity because the phone itself has so many cool ideas. Like the fingerprint scanner, for example. Massive. You put your finger anywhere in this area, it'll work. Or like swipe up on something with two fingers, it'll initiate auto-scrolling. Why is this the first time I've ever seen that feature? You can take screenshots just by tapping and holding one of the top corners. I love how every single time I lock and unlock my phone, both my lock screen and my home screen wallpaper will change. It's got the ability to not just set your refresh rate to auto, but actually force some apps to run at higher refresh rates, which makes the camera, for example, feel really fluid. What about the camera then? Well, the first time I tested this, I was completely floored. The room we're staying in is right next to Tokyo Tower. So the first thing I did on this phone when I booted it up was went outside and took a side-by-side -side photo of that really brightly lit tower with this and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And honestly, this was a better photo. Sadly though, bit of a one-off. As I continued to test it with the iPhone, it became very clear that actually overall, it gets absolutely pasted. It feels five generations behind. So the way I'm seeing this is really great ideas that I wish were present on all international phones, but just very mediocre execution.